We have prepared for you 100 vocabulary terms that will help you study and prepare for your insurance licensing exam. Let's get started. Premium. The amount of money paid for an insurance policy. Deductible. The amount you pay out of pocket before your insurance coverage kicks in. Liability coverage. Insurance that pays for damages or injuries you cause to others. Personal property. Items owned by an individual, such as furniture, electronics, or clothing. Endorsement. An amendment to an insurance policy that alters its coverage. Exclusion. Specific situations or items that an insurance policy does not cover. Claim. A request for payment from an insurance company for a covered loss. Underwriting. The process of evaluating the risk of insuring a person or property. Coverage limit. The maximum amount an insurance policy will pay for a covered loss. Peril. A specific risk or cause of loss covered by an insurance policy, such as fire or theft. Policyholder. The person or entity that owns an insurance policy. Renewal. Extending the term of an insurance policy for another period. Rider. An additional coverage added to an insurance policy. Actual cash value. The value of an item considering depreciation at the time of loss. Replacement cost. The cost to replace an item with a new one of similar quality without deducting for depreciation. Insurable interest. A financial interest in the insured item or person giving the policyholder a legitimate reason to insure them. Bainder. A temporary insurance contract that provides coverage until a permanent policy is issued. Subrogation. The process by which an insurance company seeks reimbursement from the party responsible for a loss. Coinsurance. A provision in an insurance policy that requires the policyholder to share a percentage of the cost of a covered loss. Named insured. The individual or entity specifically named as the insured party in an insurance policy. Additional insured. A person or entity added to an insurance policy, extending coverage beyond the named insured. Loss of use. Coverage that pays for additional living expenses if you cannot live in your home due to a covered loss. Personal liability. Insurance that covers legal expenses and damages if you are found responsible for injuring someone or damaging their property. Medical payments coverage. Coverage that pays for medical expenses for individuals injured on your property, regardless of fault. Umbrella policy. Additional liability coverage that supplements the limits of your primary policies. Named peril policy. An insurance policy that only covers losses caused by perils specifically listed in the policy. Open peril policy. An insurance policy that covers all perils except those specifically excluded. Appraisal. A professional assessment of the value of an insured item. Adjuster. An individual who investigates and settles insurance claims on behalf of the insurance company. Depreciation. The decrease in value of an item over time due to wear and tear or obsolescence. Grace period. A period after the premium due date during which an insurance policy remains in force without penalty. Indemnity. The principle that insurance should restore the insured to the financial position they were in before a loss occurred. Lapse. The termination of an insurance policy due to non-payment of premiums. Mortgagee. The lender in a mortgage agreement, often listed as an additional insured on a homeowner's policy. Non-renewal. When an insurance company decides not to renew a policy at the end of its term. Occurrence. An event that results in a covered loss under an insurance policy. Overinsurance. When the amount of insurance coverage exceeds the value of the insured item. Personal articles floater. Additional coverage for high-value personal items, such as jewelry or art. Pro rata cancellation. The cancellation of an insurance policy with a refund of the unused premium. Reinstatement. The process of restoring an insurance policy after it is lapsed. Short rate cancellation. 
the cancellation of an insurance policy by the policyholder before the end of the term with a penalty fee. Total loss. A loss so severe that the cost of repair exceeds the value of the insured item. Underinsured. Having insurance coverage that is insufficient to cover the full cost of a loss. Uninsured motorist coverage. Insurance that covers injuries or damages caused by a driver without insurance or insufficient coverage. Waiver. An agreement to relinquish a right or claim. Water backup coverage. Insurance that covers damage caused by water backing up through sewers or drains. Actual loss sustained. Coverage that pays for the actual financial loss incurred up to the policy limit. Aggregate limit. The maximum amount an insurance policy will pay for all covered losses during a specified period. Arbitration. A method of resolving disputes outside of court, often used in insurance claims. Assured. Another term for the insured or policyholder. Cancellation. The termination of an insurance policy before its natural expiration. Casualty insurance. Insurance that covers loss or damage to property and liability for injuries to others. Catastrophe. A large-scale disaster that causes significant damage and insurance losses. Concurrent causation. When two or more events cause a loss, and at least one is covered by insurance. Contingent liability. Liability that may arise depending on the outcome of a future event. Direct loss. A loss that is a direct result of a covered peril, such as fire damage to a home. Earthquake insurance. Coverage for damage caused by earthquakes, often sold as a separate policy. Effective date. The date on which an insurance policy begins coverage. Excess liability. Additional coverage beyond the limits of a primary liability policy. Expiry date. The date on which an insurance policy's coverage ends. Flood insurance. Coverage for damage caused by flooding, typically sold as a separate policy. Hazard. A condition that increases the likelihood or severity of a loss. Inception date. The date on which an insurance policy's coverage begins. Insured. The person or entity covered by an insurance policy. Joint and several liability. A legal principle that allows a claimant to recover the full amount of damages from any one of multiple defendants. Liability limits. The maximum amount an insurance policy will pay for liability claims. Loss payee. A person or entity listed in an insurance policy as entitled to receive payment in the event of a loss. Material misrepresentation. Providing false information that is significant enough to affect an insurance policy or claim. Negligence. Failure to exercise the care that a reasonable person would under similar circumstances, resulting in harm or damage. Non-admitted insurer. An insurance company that is not licensed to operate in a particular state, but can provide coverage through a surplus lines broker. Peril-specific policy. An insurance policy that covers only specific perils, such as flood or earthquake insurance. Policy expiration date. The date on which an insurance policy's coverage ends. Policy term. The duration of an insurance policy's coverage. Pre-existing condition. A health or physical condition that existed before the start of an insurance policy. Property damage liability. Insurance that covers the cost of damages to someone else's property caused by the insured. Recovery. The process of obtaining reimbursement from a third party responsible for a loss covered by insurance. Risk. The chance of loss or the uncertainty of an outcome. Scheduled property. Specific high-value items listed separately on an insurance policy, often with individual coverage limits. Self-insurance. Retaining the risk of loss instead of transferring it to an insurance company. Settlement. The resolution of an insurance claim, typically involving payment to the claimant. Surplus lines. Insurance coverage provided by non-admitted insurers for risks that cannot be placed with licensed insurers. Third-party liability. 
Liability coverage that protects the insured against claims made by someone outside of the insurance contract. Underwriter. The individual or company that assesses and accepts the risk of insuring a policyholder. Unearned premium. The portion of a premium that has been paid but not yet earned by the insurance company, typically refunded if a policy is canceled. Valued policy. An insurance policy that pays a fixed amount in the event of a total loss, regardless of the actual value of the loss. Vandalism. Intentional damage or destruction of property. Waiver of subrogation. An agreement in which the insured waives the right of their insurance company to seek reimbursement from a third party responsible for a loss. Windstorm insurance. Coverage for damage caused by windstorms, often sold as a separate policy in hurricane-prone areas. Workers' compensation. Insurance that provides medical and wage benefits to employees injured on the job. Write-off. The process of declaring an item as a total loss and settling the claim based on its insured value. Actuary. A professional who analyzes financial risks using mathematics and statistics, often in the insurance industry. Bad faith. When an insurance company refuses to fulfill its obligations under a policy without a reasonable basis. Binder receipt. A temporary document that provides proof of insurance coverage until the actual policy is issued. Claims adjuster. An individual who investigates and settles insurance claims on behalf of the insurance company. Exposure. The susceptibility to risk or the possibility of experiencing a loss. Indirect loss. A loss that is a consequence of a direct loss, such as additional living expenses incurred due to a damaged home. Insured value. The amount for which an item or property is insured, often based on its replacement cost or actual cash value. Loss ratio. The ratio of incurred losses to earned premiums used to measure an insurance company's profitability. Reinsurance. Insurance purchased by an insurance company from another insurer to reduce its risk of large losses. Risk management. The process of identifying, assessing, and controlling risks to minimize the impact of unexpected events. That's a wrap. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Good luck on your exam.